Hey guys, Airgun and Angie with Gateway to Airguns, and my grip review this time is going to be on the Daisy Adult Red Rider. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. This is a new version of a classic. It's geared for um, adults because the original one is for youth and it's kind of small and maybe, just maybe, Daisy saw Bo Jackson shoot the Red Rider at the Gamma Squirrel Master Classic a couple years ago and decided we should probably make one big enough for Bo Jackson to shoot. Okay, so let's go over the Daisy Red Rider adult version. It is the same exact platform as the youth, just a little bigger. So we'll go over some of the differences. Now the um, Red Rider is completely constructed of steel and wood. I said completely, that's a lie. There are a couple plastic components. One, the trigger and the front blade sight and this cap over this tube. The rest of it is steel. So it's good um, hefty construction that should last. I know I have a Red Rider that we use outside. It's extremely old. It was probably around before I was born and it still shoots beautifully and accurately. So I would expect the same out of these ones. It has a stained wood stock it is an under lever, it's spring powered, it's 177 caliber BB gun. Um, it has a front blade sight fixed, you cannot adjust it, as well as a rear um, adjustable sight. Now it is only adjustable for elevation, it is not adjustable for windage. So if you're shooting a little left, a little right, you're gonna have to make that adjustment yourself. We got the trigger guard, which is right there with the cocking lever, and there's the trigger, the safety, the safety is manual. It's a cross bolt trigger block safety. It's right there behind the trigger, which makes it easily accessible while you're shooting. Now there is a couple of things. Maintenance. This is going to require some maintenance like most anything. Um, you need to oil it right here. It says anywhere from 500, every 500 to 1,000 shots. I'm not going to count that, so I would guesstimate maybe measure some BBs out. Um, this comes, at, this is 2400 right here, so yeah, maybe at a quarter of the bottle I would add some oil. And then you have your loading port. This is where you would load your BBs right here at the very end. Operation, well, you basically, you cock it right here. You're going to make sure you tip it down, back up in order to load a BB, and you'll see it in the window when it's ready and then put the safety off and point it in a safe direction and fire. So it's very simple to use, very, very simple to use. The weight of the adult is 3.27 pounds, where the weight of the youth is 2.72 pounds. So just about a little over a half a pound heavier. The length of the adult is 37 and a half inches. The youth is 36 inches. It's one and a half inches longer it's a quarter inch thicker. The thickness of the stock is one and a quarter inches on the adult and one inch on the youth. The um, width of the stock is a half inch wider. The width of the adult is four and a quarter inches. The youth is three and three quarters. It has an inch and a quarter longer length of pull, 15 and a quarter inches. The length of pull on the youth is 14 inches. So now there's some physical differences in both of them and that's what makes the adult Daisy Red Rider the adult Daisy Red Rider. As you grow and you grow out of the youth Red Rider, there's still an option to shoot a Red Rider and still be comfortable and fit. Because we know it's important to fit to your gun or your gun to fit to you. That's probably stated better, for your gun to fit to you. Now there also is a difference in trigger pull from the adult to the youth. The adult trigger pull was around four pounds. The youth trigger pull was around three pounds. Some of you would say, oh, that's a heavy trigger. And yes, it is. It's a heavy trigger. It's not so heavy that you can't pull it and it, it, takes a, it doesn't take a lot of effort to pull. But I actually find that to be a good thing. You won't hear me say that often. 
but when it comes to a youth gun, a gun that you would teach somebody about safety, proper gun etiquette, the operation of a gun, a gun that would be used to teach youngsters or first time shooters, I believe I honestly will stand behind a heavier trigger for them because there's going to be less accidental shooting. And as well as the cocking lever, these guns are intended for adult supervision. So a small child is not going to be able to take this gun out, cock it, and have it ready to shoot by themselves. They must have an adult there to help. And I think that some parents might not like the child can't cock it by themselves. That's a good thing. You don't want your child running around shooting a BB gun before they've learned where a safe place is or before they've shown themselves responsible. A little harder to cock and a heavier trigger is not such a bad thing. It might just save their own eye or somebody else's. Shot distance. What is the max distance of the gun? Well, it's capable, what it says, of shooting these BBs 195 yards. I don't see us really doing that. Maybe somebody out there can or has. Go for it. But a proper distance that you can actually have consistent accuracy. I wouldn't go any further than 25 yards myself. Uh, maybe somebody out there like Shooter1721 can go farther than that and shoot an aspirin off a balloon. I have not found myself to be that good of a shooter yet. Maybe one day. This is not a paperwork gun, but I did do some paperwork and it shot the best as about eight yards away. Um, I got quite a tight group. It was shooting very nicely. And then I moved back to 10 yards. It spread out a little bit, but it still didn't do bad. Um, I'm actually more comfortable shooting this standing up free-handed rather than at the bench. It just wasn't, it just didn't feel right. This is not a bench gun to me. Maybe some of you like shooting it from the bench, but to me it's more of an offhander. So I shot it better offhanded. So with these very BBs right here, I was getting an average of 275 feet per second. Perfect for some backyard just fun plinking. After the paperwork guys, oh yeah, it's time to get out the true Daisy Red Rider targets, soda cans, balloons, and of course, some of my favorite target clays. I shot this one for a while, guys, because I was really having fun. So I do have a lot of target footage and I tried to narrow it down to show you guys the best ones. So here you go. As far as backyard friendly, um, what do you guys think? It's a BB gun. Of course it's backyard friendly. It's super quiet. At the muzzle, I was getting about 84 dB and about 10 yards away from it was getting 64. So that's pretty dang quiet. So definitely backyard friendly, pretty much wherever you live. Unless it's against the law, check your local laws and make sure you're not breaking them. So what is Daisy accomplished by creating an adult sized Daisy Red Rider? Well, I think they've accomplished a lot, guys. They have allowed the adults to get out there, and I wouldn't just gear this towards adult. I know it says adult Daisy Red Rider, but there's some 12, 14, 16 year old kids that um, the youth one's a bit small for them too, so this would be perfect for them as well. But it allows you to get out there and do some backyard planking, have some little fun contests with family. Whether you're an adult or a child, you've got either option. You can buy one for yourself and then buy one for your child or your grandchild. Get out in the backyard, get them off the video games, get outside, do some shooting, teach them. And they don't even know they're being taught when you're out there having fun. You're not gonna reach very deep in your pocket to go have some backyard fun with this one. It's super inexpensive. If you guys want any more information about any of the products in this video, go check them, check out the description and go to Gateway to Air Guns, check out the video. It'll be, the links will be in the description there as well. It has so much information for amateurs, for professionals. I mean, just 
from every spectrum of air, the air gunning world, Gateway to Air Guns has it. You can get on there and interact with other air gunners, um, experts and beginners and PCP lovers, Springer lovers, just everyone. Everyone is on there interacting, giving information, receiving information. So get on there and join them, guys. Again, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. So as far as the Daisy Red Rider, oh yeah, it's a go. This one's pretty cool. If this product interests you guys, go check out the link in the description. If not, I've got another grip review coming soon. That one might fill your tank. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya.